If you need unlimited domination, clutch time, or anything else grinded, make sure you hit up Rose NBA on Twitter for quick, safe, and reliable grinding services. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're opening 250,000 MT of the brand new glitched packs here in NBA 2K23, my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me push towards the 8,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, generally multiple videos a day, and would really appreciate it if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it, and let's start off with uh, talking about which cards are in the pack. So we got a Pink Diamond Hakeem, who looks like the best center in the game, pretty much undebatably. I think this Hakeem's going to be incredible. May try to get y'all a gameplay with him later. I would love to pull this Hakeem card because he is going to play on my team regardless. Would be my first pink diamond pull of the year, and I would absolutely love to pull this card. Also, Diamond MPJ looks pretty good. Uh, Amethyst JJ Redick actually looks solid as well. It looks really good offensively, defensively. Kind of mediocre. And then we got Ruby, Evan Fournier, Goran Dragic, and Joe Ingles, all of which evolve to Diamond, and at which point they become significantly better and gain their glitched abilities for Goran. I think his glitched ability is um, defense, and then Evan Fournier's is, I think Evan Fournier's is decent defense as well. And then Joe Ingles is slashing. I think that's what they gain. But overall, this drop is solid. For a two-seed drop especially, getting a guy like Hakeem is absolutely crazy. But let's hop right into it and let's see what we can get out of these packs. I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be like an Evo reward like there was last season for um, evolving original owner versions of these cards. Uh, so I'm going to wait first and not do that. At, not buy these packs as of yet. But at some point, I might want to buy buying these VC packs if I need them to get the original owner versions of these cards. But hopefully, we can pull them in this pack packs in these packs that would definitely be nice to just be able to pull the cards in the packs to start us off with and then we don't have to worry about that but um obviously we're looking for shakes that's what we're looking for hoping that we can get lucky today we get a tree rollins right here probably going to get a lot of duplicates but that is okay um just looking for shakes obviously that is what we're looking for every single time we open these packs and there's ruby right there start me off with a glitched card beautiful glitched out of right there that means if there does wind up being a reason that we need these original honor don't have to buy Evan fournier so that saves us some vc right there i will take all of the ruby pulls for sure never going to complain about a ruby pull uh when it's especially when it's one of the new ones but we are looking for shakes obviously i mean that's what we're here for it's 10.5k for these packs not 15k so they are cheaper but i also assume that that comes with not very good pack odds and as it looks so far the pack odds do not look awesome so that does not shock me i haven't had great pack luck this year to be completely honest in general but maybe that can change and all it takes is that one pack i mean that's really all it takes is we could pull a pink diamond hakeem even a diamond mpj would be a really really nice pull for sure um and yeah so far though we're like almost 100,000 mt in the packs and we have not pulled anything particularly good so hopefully that can change pretty darn soon another sapphire uh bonzi wills this time um and we are getting to the point where i basically have the vast majority of the eerie players from season two so um not gonna be pulling a lot of, a lot of new players for collector level and things like that as well but uh another emerald yeah I don't know, man. Pack odds are just, they just have not favored me this year for whatever reason. I continue to open packs and I don't know why I continue to open them, to be completely honest, because my luck continues to be poor, but we got two more packs for the first 100K and there's a shake. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Diamond MPJ. Beautiful stuff. I think my voice cracked there, but all it takes, maybe I just got to complain and it works. There we go. All it takes is that one solid pull and that puts us to a point where our pack opening has been really, really good so far. Diamond Michael Porter Jr. Coming out of these packs, we're going to get to do a gameplay with MPJ as well and we'll get to check out how good this card can be in my team because that is an amazing pull his card art looks a little odd to be completely honest i'm not entirely sure why it looks like the way he's smiling it looks weird i don't know but regardless that is an amazing pull right there we will take that every single day of the week a big diamond michael porter jr beautiful stuff now all we need is jj reddick and hakeem olajuwon and we got all the main pack cards i uh, would like to pull another couple another ruby couple rubies as well would definitely be nice uh get the other um, besides Evan Fournier, get Joe Ingles and Goran Dragic as well. That would be nice just to get those original owners so we don't have to potentially spend VC on them. We got two more Emerald players here in this pack. James Johnson and Zach Randolph, two I already have. And we are just over 100,000 MT. And now with a Diamond Michael Porter Jr. pull already. So I got to say, packs have started off pretty solidly. Not going to complain. Uh, I am looking for those rubies, those amethysts, and the pink diamonds. Obviously, another Diamond MPJ would be great as well. We could sell him. But we got about, uh, we're about halfway through the pack opening. So maybe we can get lucky, get another shake. Come on, we need, an we need another shake, man. Come on. Give me some give me some, some luck. Come on, packs, please. Uh, 700,000 left. So we got about 120K left of packs to open in today's video. And no shake in this pack another sapphire not even a, the fact that i haven't i've only gotten one ruby player is a little bit surprising i'll be completely honest i would have thought i'd get a couple more of them but 
I will still say packs have been solid so, so far. I mean, I can't complain about pulling a diamond. As, as I say that, we pull our second ruby, Goran Dragic, a second ruby original owner player. Beautiful stuff there. I want to get all three. I'd like to get a Joe Ingles as well and have all three of them from these packs. That would be super nice. And we get us the back-to-back -back rubies. Joe Ingles, please. Hollow Joe Ingles. It's a hollow, but I'll take it regardless. Hollow Joe Ingles. As I say it, we pull back-to-back -back rubies and now have all three of the ruby players, original owner. So now what we're looking for is JJ Redick and Hakeem Olajuwon to basically pull the full set in 200,000 MT, uh, or 250,000 MT, I should, should say. We have um, 664K, so we got three five eight more packs to open so hopefully we can get lucky and pull a couple more things uh just give me another shake or two come on 2k you know you want to give me another shake or two we get a uh, select lamella ball i guess i didn't have that gold select lamello so we will take that any new cards slowly can add to the collection i will not complain about especially the select cards because those are the more expensive ones but we got six more packs after this pack didn't really give us anything we needed um and let's see if we can get lucky all it takes is that one last shake i would really like to pull even a jj reddick or or Hakeem would be nice to complete the set, basically. Uh, select Anthony Davis. I do already have that card, but we will send him to the auctions because I think he's going to be more expensive seeing as he's a select card. And 634K means we have five packs left to rip in today's pack opening. Uh, this pack is going to give us a shake. Let's go. Uh, it's an Amethyst. I was hoping for a pink diamond, but I can't get greedy. Amethyst JJ Reddick is going to be this pull. Unless it's a, uh, ser a serious player, I guess. It could be not JJ Reddick, but I think it is going to be JJ Reddick. Small four number 23. No, it's not. It's Jimmy Butler. Is Jimmy a sol I think this Jimmy pull is really good. Hold on. I think Jimmy is an amazing pull. I think he goes for like 100 plus thousand MT. That's a really good pull if I'm right. I think he goes for a... Yo, I think that's a really, really good pull. I'm not going to complain at all. I think he goes for a ton of MT. Much better pull than JJ Reddick in terms, in terms of MT. I am not going to complain about that at all. That's a really, really good pull. This pack opening has been a massive W for sure. I am really impressed. Two more, or sorry, three more packs to go, though. Give me one more shake. Might as well end it on a shake, because why not? But that, oh, another Ruby. It's going to be a, Del oh, no, it's going to be a DeAndre Ayton, another select player that I don't have, actually. So that is a W as well. These packs have been very, very solid to me for for sure uh two more packs to go though one more shake would be an awesome way to end off the video not gonna happen there but another uh, ruby is a great pull and it's gonna be joe ingles again we're gonna send him to the collection we're actually gonna send the hollow one to the auctions because the hollow one may sell for a little bit more but last pack of the video we've had a really really solid pack opening for sure i cannot complain whatsoever we aren't gonna finish it off with anything too hot but regardless a very very solid pack opening for sure as y'all can see we pull four of the six players in the glitch set including diamond michael porter jr we additionally pulled a bunch of new selected series players that we needed and we pulled um specifically where is uh diamond where's amethyst jimmy butler this amethyst jimmy butler goes for a lot of mt like he's legitimately going for about a hundred thousand mt right now as y'all can see okay it's closer to 80k now but still an eighty thousand mt pull for di this amethyst jimmy butler is a really really good pull in my team cannot complain regardless i think this was a really good pack of money probably made our mt back for once which is actually really really nice so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace